Hi, it's Yuris here and welcome to Tattoo Shop Talk. And this time there'll be a little tip for tattooists using Procreate on iPad Pro. In previous video where I shared what I know and how I use Procreate on iPad Pro, I showed off this brush that I referred as that pearl brush and it's the brush that does these circles the way you draw them, and a bunch of people asked how to do it. And it's not a secret, there's plenty of information on how to do it. I'll share the way I do it for viewers of this channel who haven't found any other tutorials that shows how to get to that. And in this video, I'll show you how to make that brush and maybe mention a few more useful shapes that you can use, so stick to the end. As for now, it's a Procreate version 5.0.1, which you can check just pressing on procreate button at the upper left corner of your gallery. We will start with creating a new sheet and it should be a square one. And I have a square here. It's 2048 by 2048. It's more than 1080, so it should be fine. Let's open our square up and we will start with drawing our shape. So we'll take something that is not thinner and thicker as you draw. And for me, it's a technical pen and let's draw this circle. So draw a circle, hold on, tap on the screen and we have a circle. Let's make it somewhat bigger and somewhat centered just because it feels nice. But what we need is we need that circle in white. One way it would be to invert the color. I'll do the old school flipping curves around and it should be white and I'll remove the background and it's there. In some versions you can invert it when you make a brush. I couldn't find how to do it in this version. Or another option, once we have our background removed, we take a brush of our choice, which is technical pen for me, and just changing color to white and do the same thing. Boom, boom. So one way or another, we have our white circle and now we need to save it and we save it as PNG and save image and it's saved. Now let's clear this thing up and we go to brushes and now here to make things more organized we swipe up and press this little plus and make a new folder where we call it as we want. Let's call it custom brush. So we have our folder ready and now where should be all the brushes usually in an empty folder there's nothing we press this plus and that's where we create brushes. So we're gonna go to the shape press edit import import photo and we will take from recent the one where we created this circle that would be the last one we saved and it's done and then you can go to stroke path and adjust spacing so we have our circles here you can check what's going on and there's also a grain and that's where we choose our grain import source library in the grain section you choose the blank one or it might be set on a blank already or you can mess around with different types if it's necessary for you and we can see that it all looks now different but let's set it back to the blank and we have our circle pearl brush ready and in about this brush section you can name it so let's name it circles tight and then we can duplicate this brush and go back in there and adjust stroke path and make it wider if you want your pearls to be a bit more spread out and you can add a little stringy bit in between if it's something of your liking and call it different just for the sake of organizing stuff about this brush tie circles spread Dead. Bam. So we have those pearl brushes, as it's also called stamp brush, it also can be any shape. You can make teardrop shapes, you can make squares, you can make your signature if you feel like it, or if there's any common used shapes like perfect infinity sign, your favorite rows you, you use. Let's try something like a little flower. Let's go into canvas, drawing assist, edit symmetry, let's make radio let's remove background so we don't need to mess around with all the inverting let's make it white let's make a little flowery shape and same thing let's save it as png save image clean this up now let's go to the custom brush folder and tap new one let's go to shape edit import import photo take a rough flower shape done crane is blank let's go to stroke path line spacing done let's call it flowers flowers one done and let's choose the brush make it to the black color you can adjust size 
and we have our flowers going on. We don't have to make them in lines, we can just stamp them around and have our flowers. It can be figures, it can be text, it can be signatures, it can be tags. Apart from all the fun stuff, you can also do a few useful things. One thing I figured out that would be scales. Obviously you can draw them up or you can go to the Google and search up for some scales. I found these ones, so let's save it. Save image. Let's go back to Procreate. We have in our square sheet and let's import that image. Add, insert photo. Boom. We have our scales. I prefer to look at them sideways. Let's stretch them out to the full screen. Now we need to make them white and the easiest way to do it, I find that I take the selection tool, take automatic and click on scales and they are all selected. Then I copy paste, delete a necessary layer and do the invert thing. And now we have our white scales and we do the same thing. So now we save it as a PNG, share PNG, save image. Now we clean this up, go to our custom brush folder, press this plus symbol, go to the shape, edit, import, import photo. And we take our white scales, done. Go to stroke path. And adjust that. We can double check here what's going on by drawing here. That would be a bit too much. Make them close together. Done. And now we can draw scales. It's not the fancy scales that you can get when you buy some brushes that will follow all the shapes and go from thinner to thicker, but this can be useful in a situation where let's say you draw a small fish and you need to have some sort of reference. And once you have your shape, you can throw on the, those scales and trace them or erase what's necessary and you have it ready. Or when you draw some longer objects, when you use scales, then you can do the following. You do somewhat line of them. And then if you need to adjust a little bit, like I said, it will not follow the shape, but before you spend money on fancy brushes this might be useful then you can go to this arrow which is a move tool and you can use things like warp or distort when you can adjust them to somewhat shapes angles and all the good stuff and warp has more of a 3D type of effects. And this was my take on how to create brushes. If you have any useful tips and tricks how to do brushes or anything other that can be useful for tattoo work, then share that with us by leaving comment. If this type of videos is something for you, then feel free to subscribe to the channel and press likes, leave comments, and like always, see you in the future episodes.